Good afternoon. This is Jason Robinson. Uh, thanks for join us, joining us on the RGG YouTube channel. Today I'm going to discuss something that we've all probably dealt with at one point in our career, and that is a short shot. So right now I'm, I walked up to this machine a minute ago, and it's making short shots. So um, making short shots so you can see that this is a non-fill uh, is another word for a short shot, which means I don't have all the plastic in the cavity. The cavity should look complete like this. So this is a comparison of a full good part and a uh, short shot right here. So what is a short shot? Or some people might call it a non-fill. Uh, a short shot is a lack of plastic into the cavity. So we didn't put enough plastic into the cavity for um, a many reasons could be the cause of that. So let's look at some of the causes of that. The first thing you should do is look at the setup sheet. So sounds pretty simple, but let's look at the setup sheet and make sure that the machine is running to the approved setup. I walked by this one a minute ago and I see the screen red on my co-pilot here and I know right away that I'm making this short shot. Um, so first thing to do is to look, take the setup sheet, make sure it's running to the approved setup. The next thing I'm going to do is take a walk around the machine and look at things like the the temperature control unit set point, make sure I have water flow, make sure it's at the right temperature. Another thing I might check is the material condition. Is it dry material? Is it wet material? Is it the correct material? Um, something else I might check would be if the dryer is on. Um, am I using a, a different percentage of regrind than I normally use? Some other things that I could check would be the, uh, make sure I don't have any nozzle leaks between the nozzle and the mold. And I did a previous video on how to size the right nozzle tip for the mold sprue bushing. So take a peek at that video. So I want to, I would want to back this up. I'm going to do it right now. And make sure there's no leaks between the nozzle of the molding machine and the, and the mold. That could definitely be one of the causes for a short shot. Well, I don't have any leaks in front of the nozzle, so uh, that's not the cause of the short shot. So I'm going to take a look at what's called the fill only. So a fill only is something that I've documented on this setup sheet. And it's going to tell me how I'm filling the mold. It's the essence of decoupled molding. So decoupled molding means I'm going to fill it a certain way and then I'm going to pack and hold the part a certain way. So we use the term fill only means I'm going to turn the pack and hold off. So I'm going to do that right now. So I just turned the pressure off. I left the time on. So now I've turned the hold off and I'm just filling. I'm going to see what I have coming out of the molding machine. This is what I had earlier. This is my defect and now I'm making it even worse. Now the good thing is I have documented on here what this part should look like and what it should weigh when I turn the hold off. And it should look like this right here. So just barely short and I have the weight of 10.56 grams. So I'm going to throw these parts on the scale. And they only weigh 7.1 grams. So I need to fix that first. So let's do that. So let's wait for that new shot size. I, what I did was I added more shot size because this was a lot smaller than this. So I need to make my fill only look like my sample. All right, so this automatically looks way better than I had. It looks more like my sample here. So here's. Again, here's my sample. So they're about the same. Let's throw it on the scale. This right here should be the weight, 10.56 grams. And guess what? It weighs 10.56 grams. So now I'm going to turn the whole pressure back on. And let's see what happens. All right, I've let that run a few shots with the uh, the whole pressure back on. And let's see what I got. Um, I'm thinking I got a good part just by looking at this screen back here because it's green and that's telling me everything's good. And right here's my part. 
And sure enough, my short shot is gone. Um, so I, I, I took a walk around the machine, checked all the easy stuff. I'd investigated a little bit, checked the setup sheet. Um, and it turned out that the shot size was just set too low. Um, so I, I uh, added a little bit, more, little bit more shot to the barrel. Um, I made it match my fill only documented part. So now that I have hold back on, I have a, I'm filling it and I'm packing it out. So I'm gonna weigh that. And it weighs exactly what my setup sheet says that my final part should weigh. So this is a good technique that you can use um, to check your fill only. And now in order to do that, you have to document that on your setup process sheet. So whatever your process is, whether it's, it's fully optimized or maybe it's not fully optimized, you can still document the fill only for, the fill only percentage. So you can basically walk up to your press, turn your pack and hold pressure off, catch the part, this right here, and weigh that on the weigh that part and write down the weight on the setup sheet. So now on my setup sheet, I can always go back to that. I can dissect my process in half and verify that the filling portion is filling the correct way. So if it's not, I have to fix that first. Then once I fix the filling portion, and that means matching the, the weight and the fill time, then I can put the second stage hold pressure back on and pack and hold it out and uh, see what I got. And what I didn't do was just go change a bunch of settings on the machine, which is I've been guilty of that in the past, but you need to do a little bit of investigation work. Um, again, check the easy stuff first, walk around the machine at least twice and look at the things that you assume that are always correct and make sure that's not a simple cause causing your issue. And that, that's good practice for any troubleshooting technique, whether you're troubleshooting a visual defect, a short shot, or even flash, a uh, good, good troubleshooting technique to do is resist the urge to push buttons and change things quickly because usually you're just band-aiding the issue at that point. All right, thank you guys, and I hope this helped. Um, stay tuned to our channel for future videos. Have a good day.